Sony's PlayStation 5 reveal has now shown us more than 25 games coming to the new platform over the next couple of years, and they finally unveiled the new system's smooth, space travel-ready appearance. Although there looks to be good reason for us to get excited about pretty much all of these games, here are the top 10 upcoming PS5 titles that I'm most eager to get my hands on. The first game on this list came as a big surprise to me, and it's Destruction All-Stars, a game that looks to be a loud, fast, colorful destruction derby that somehow seems to carry the spirits of predecessors like Twisted Metal, Fortnite, and Rocket League, all at the same time. It's been a couple of years since I got into a vehicular multiplayer game, and this one looks like crazy, frantic fun. The next one genuinely cracked me up, and that's no surprise coming from Young Horses, the developer behind Octodad back in 2014. I loved Octodad for its weirdness and intentionally challenging controls, and Young Horses' new game, Bug Snacks, looks like it's going to carry the same torch to the holiday 2020 launch window for the PS5. I think it was the walking ribs that first sold me, but the cinnamon roll snail on this guy's head pretty much sealed the deal. The announcement of an all-new Ratchet & Clank game really was a pleasant surprise, as Insomniac's last installment in the duo's story came out back in 2013. This new one is titled Rift Apart, and it featured some amazing particle effects, beautifully detailed environments, multi-dimensional minecart rides, dragons, pirate fights, and a new female Lombax. Definitely eager to learn more and check this one out. The next game is called Kena, Bridge of Spirits, and it's apparently the debut game from Ember Lab, a duo of brothers named Josh and Mike Greer. The initial cutscene in this showcase got my attention, but I was astonished by the gorgeous environments, fun-looking combat, and exploration. The little dark creatures seem like what you'd get by throwing an Ewok, the soot sprites from my neighbor Totoro, and a Pikmin into a mixing bowl, and I'd be lying if I said they weren't adorable. The fourth game I'm most enticed by is Returnal, a new franchise that looks like the flavor of sci-fi I'm most craving right now. It appears to be a third-person shooter with horror elements, intense gun combat, and what seems to be a time loop wherein the player character is forced to relive the crash of her ship and re-experience her own death. Who says a game about Groundhog Day wouldn't work? Game number five simply has to go to Horizon 2 Forbidden West. As the sequel to 2017's breakout hit, Horizon Zero Dawn, this new entry in Aloy's story features some seriously stunning visuals. I think the creatures, foliage, and character models in this trailer impressed me more than almost any of the others, and the goosebump-inducing music made it impossible not to get sucked into this one. I played 2018's PS4 Spider-Man game somewhat recently, and it's one I find myself reflecting on all the time. So, when this reveal event kicked off its first new game announcement with Spider-Man Miles Morales, I couldn't help but smile. In the first game, it was obvious that Insomniac had every intention to bring Miles back for the sequel, and millions of fans, myself included, couldn't be happier about it. Arcane Studios makes seriously excellent games, and my third most anticipated game, Deathloop, looks like it will be no exception. The Deathloop trailer initially gave me big Bioshock energy vibes in its first moments, but then I realized it was more akin to Dishonored with a zesty sci-fi flair. It's apparently a story about rival assassins, and its beautiful art direction and Quentin Tarantino-esque attitude can't arrive soon enough in my book. My penultimate selection for the newly announced PS5 games is one that doesn't yet have a definite name. Project Athea. It's being developed by Luminous Productions, a group of developers who banded together following their work on Final Fantasy XV. This trailer seriously impressed me, and although the title has no release date, I can't wait to learn more about its gorgeous fantasy setting, magic-based combat, and the story penned through leadership of veteran writer Gary Whitta. Finally, my number one most anticipated game from this PlayStation 5 reveal event has to be Resident Evil Village, aka Resident Evil 8. In this trailer, we're shown a spooky village, of course, along with dark forests, terrifying well-dressed women, Black Phillip, probably a werewolf, and definitely the Umbrella logo. This trailer fascinated me, creeped me out, as it should, and, as a decades-long Resident Evil fan, made me more eager for 2021 to arrive than I already was. Now that I've shared my list, let me know in the comments if you're excited about the PS5, the Xbox Series X, or if you don't care about either one. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It's totally free and really helps me out. And please subscribe to tune into all of our new videos here on CrossChop. Thank you for watching, thanks for subscribing, and play heavy.